All right, so the other day, remember when the cop told us like the story about the kids that went underground and got lost yeah. because they weren't well prepared or weren't smart enough and we didn't even tell anyone where we were. So we've been here for about two hours now, wandering into the abyss. Matt has not once told us that he knows exactly where he's going, which is really starting to worry me. The light's broke. Yeah, the light's broke. And Dan's battery's just gone on his camera. It's been in my mouth. Um, should that have a hole in the Is middle? Is this why we're lost? Yeah, it might be. But we'll have to just keep walking until we get out of these world. Out of these bits. Well, which, which direction? What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm absolutely pooping myself. Yeah. Well, seriously, I'm kind of worried because we are filthy up, hardly any batteries, lost in the ground, map falling to bits. We're still not even at the door yet. This could be the end of Exploring Fighters. Previously on Exploring Fighters. Because if you get lost, the map will help you out, but it won't help if you don't have a compass because you'll be going around in circles. So, phones have got compasses on them, but make sure you have a compass. Make sure you're not going round and round and round in circles. I get a compass on my watch. Cool. Again, we're coming up to the line. Just going to sit down there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's quite a few bats there. <laughs> Twice, though, you never know how long you might get stuck in there. So Matt just informed us that he actually is lost. Um, he's going to try and find the main route to try and pin where he's on the map. But at the moment, we're walking blind into the middle of nowhere. Can't feel where you are, Dan. Let's just keep going and going and going. It's so slippy. Everyone's falling. We are running out of battery power. This Matt has not once told us that he knows exactly where he's going, which is really starting to worry me. What you are about to see is 100% real. While on the ground for so long and being lost for so long, you tend not to be yourself. The arguments and aggression towards each other was not intentional, but was created out of fear and panic. Yeah, Drawings are from apparently the 1800s. The train system. 1898. Look at the old point lock pistols that are drawn on there. Now you can tell how old it is down here. Look. We're heading to like a hallway that Weenie took a picture of already, so we know we're going the wrong way. Right, so this is the situation. This is now real danger. Matt's taking around in circles. There's a room over there that we thought led to the red door. Turns out we've already taken pictures of it, so we've come around a big circle on ourselves. Yeah, we shouldn't be splitting up like this. Yeah, yeah, no. Are oh, you joking me? We're here. No, we, we, it's all right. We, we, the right way or not? Well, we didn't know because we didn't walk. Yeah, but is it the right way? We can't just keep wandering. Oh. Just end up crawling through a space where we was before. What the? We're going around in circles. Matt, would it be safe to say that we're severely lost? Um, we're a bit lost, but not severely lost, no. I mean, you said it was going to take half an hour to get to the Red Door. We've been here four and a half hours now. It's been about five years since I've been in here. What? Up this one, it's pointing north. Well, is there iron veins here? I don't know. Um, the, the, the compass is switched around. That's saying north is that way. So that's northwest. Oh, there's a light. What? There's a light. A light? Okay. That's the door. That's the emergency door with a hole cut in it. Oh, yeah. I thought it feels good to just get some scratch air. Oh. How's it shut? It's locked on the outside. How's that? It's locked on the outside. Help! Um, we're, we're, we've been down here. It's not even funny. We've been down here for nearly five hours now um, apparently it was meant to be a half an hour trip Matt said and um, we've just found this emergency door but we can't get out of it so I've got signal finally but we have to go back in to try and find a way out so if you don't hear from me in like three hours time ring the police okay right. yeah I'll just pass my camera Wow. 
right, we are all geared out. It's raining out here. We are heading to the entrance to uh, the mine that's connected to the UK Air 51 now. You saw last episode where we went around the Caution Computer Centre, we went around Skynet Drive, we saw some of the other stuff. Uh, basically Spooksville. Now we're going to go underneath it. This mine, box mine, takes us through to the entrance to Burlington Bunker. This has been a long time series, almost three years in fact. Me and Carl have been on this search. Oh man, oh, it's beautiful for here though. All the orange leaves. Definitely autumn, guys. See, this would be nice if it was like winter. If it wasn't raining, yeah. If it was more crisp, yeah, it would be nice. Nice and crisp break even. Okay, so we're approaching the entrance. I can't show you the entrance because uh, obviously you don't want it sealing up. So I'm going to cut from here to inside the mine. Can you sit my bag? Oh, yep. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said, yeah, I get it, that would be all right. <laughs> all right, so what, what people did is they told everyone where we went to and everything like that, so if something could happen or this did collapse, you know, hopefully we have a rescue team here in like 10 hours tops. We'll see. All right, Carl, are you ready? I didn't, ready think, I didn't think we'd ever be back here, but... Not me too. Come on, man. Now, Matthew, what would happen if you wet them? Probably, uh, yeah, be tripping for about three days, then die. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> That's albino, albino mushrooms. Is that what they are? No, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> so, Luke, is this mostly like this? Just this power walks, or does it get crazy in certain um, parts, or is it mostly like that? A lot of it's like this, it gets crazy in parts. Um, Right. I heard it different. You heard yeah. The alternate theory yeah. is they could never hold the roof up. They're not there for that purpose. They're there to make a noise if the roof starts collapsing. Because it means that that's an area where the roof might be moving. So it tends to be they'll go crack. Whereas you won't hear the roof move and then it just drops. You will hear these cracks. So what do you reckon? That awesome. Truth or bullshit? I think Inside. that sounds better. Yeah. I, I put such a spin on it, it sounds yep, good. You know what, you know what? The person who told me made it sound good, so... It, uh, yeah, probably yeah, probably good. Guys, in the comments below, who's right? Let me know. Luke or Matthew? The thing is, though, back, back in the day, would, would they really realise it weren't hot, like, strong enough? 
Probably. Some of these, some of these are dating back to I mean, the late 1800s. Well, I'll tell you what, if they're here building these, they have to know if it's holding up, because I'm sure they had bales and fucked up shit already. Like, there's no way that that little stick there is going to hold up anything. You know? Right. So what it is, the sticks will move and they'll drop out and they'll go, ah, there's been movement there. You'll see a lot of that. I like those, like, just, you go that way and you die. From this way, you're set. It's like that, look, it's just ready to come down. Yeah, actually, wow. yeah, it is. Look, oh, yeah, look at that. You gotta be careful, it looks like this one just wants to drop. Promise me no bangers, Dan. No, no bangers. Oh, no no bangers in here. No screaming, no vibrations. <laughs> just a nice walk. Uh, we have a map. Uh, there's a hole here with the map. It's got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And, uh, yeah, we've got lots of a bit of that. Yeah, man. I was eating the map because I was that desperate. I thought if I ingest it and it absorbs into me, like the Native American tradition or something, you eat your enemy and you put it inside you and then out of that will come. Oh. Of the food the I feel so, like we can just yeah. get collapsed on, bro. I don't know if I should take my bag out. I'm gonna have to now or not. It's a workout. See, this is why we needed the gloves. Gloves, yeah. What? 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 Yeah, no, I like that a lot. How's your foot, Josh? Um, well, doing okay. I took yeah. a 600 ibuprofen. Yo, check out that. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> that's about 1800. Someone, someone's put, yeah, leave the horse alone. It's over 100 years old. Police guard comes out and be like, oh, I'm just mad at you. Hey, hey, someone down there. Someone down there. Someone down there. <laughs> we could just wait here five minutes. What do you want? Who do you guys want to do? Yeah, wait five minutes. Okay. I just see some strange things down here. Don't you don't think they got to do some red door, do you? I don't know. Just never know, do you? Yeah, we've been walked down here very fast. Probably. So, guys, right now we're just seeing some people down there. We just see torch lights. I don't know if it's going to be a part red door or not. We really don't know. I saw a light, bro. Bro, come on. 
I saw a light. I saw there was a light down here. There's people down here. Guys, we need to get up to the just in case we have to go up here. We don't want to get rumble because we're just going in. I mean, chances are it could be over Explorers, but we would have seen it by now. Yeah. Alright, update. Oh, voice has kind of just left. We waited 10 more minutes. Don't know if they're still here. I don't know if they're... It could be anywhere, but we're going to keep it moving now. Nice sandwich, Matthew. Oh. What was it? Old cheddar cheese. cheese. Good choice, my favorite. It was a cheese because um, for some reason, co ops seem to think that if you add onion to this mix, it's another 50 pence. Oh. Which is a third of the price of the bloody sandwich anyway. Yeah, that's some expensive onions. Mm. Co op? Oh, what is your M &S. problem? I want M&S onions for that price. I usually like co op too. I like that. Good. Actually, they do a really good meal deals. You yeah. can get a really large kind of Red Bull, a drink, and a sausage roll for three pounds, I think it is. Oh, damn. Damn. Not sponsored by co op. Means you've got to go up. Oh, oh. right on the wall as well. Yeah, you can't have to find it quickly, yeah? And you just lay down this bit, so I'll put a ledge here. Alright. I'm going to put myself down. Okay. Obviously, I'm not touching the roof yet. Oh my god, that is ready to go. Yeah. Okay, separate it. Yep. Oh, that is not cool. It's a lot of weight. Alright, let's teamwork. Uh, grab each other's bags. Teamwork. We're going to say grab each other's sacks then, bro. I haven't chance to grab it yet. But it's okay, it was, it was actually a small fall, though. <laughs> <laughs> You've got no time. So, did your feet Yeah, I was just passing my camera off. I just don't want to touch the roof. That a boy. I jump, it's pass, pass it back. I'll just wait till I get down. So, Carl, are you served in Afghanistan? A long time ago. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, I didn't know that. I knew you were in. I knew you were like you did something, but I didn't know you were in there. What yeah, are you doing over there? In 2007, I think it was. What were you doing? Just one on ops. On it was called Operation Heritage. What did you have to do? This was just like a series of operations raiding, um, you know, compounds and things like that. No, I know. I've been talking of Mr. Mr. We've gone the wrong way. Yeah. Good. Back, back two minutes. Happens. If we're not far, what happens to the best? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. At least a blue list. At least a blue list. Yeah, yeah, that's Alright. It's starting already. Look at the ceiling. It's all falling down. Almost. Almost looks like it could have been a dragon's eye if it was slate. It reminds me of aliens. Every time I see these archways. Aliens. Oh, that's what aliens. Why? Just like you know, aliens have done like Prometheus is the problem. Giant tall. Oh, Prometheus. Yeah. Strangeness. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh. All right. That's not good. Oh. That one above you. Look at the rock. All right. Top right. Whoa! That's 
Try not to bang too much, boys. You can see where, where these type of logs just snapped. What? Ooh, looks very different. Great. Down, 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 down. How's it? Turn the right way though, it's a little bit sound like. Tension builds. See, this is the problem with this. It's always changing because we're taking ball. these pants off in a minute. Say, look, I said it's a bit weird because, like, with this place, it feels like I've got photographic memory. But every time I come down here, there's always something a little bit different which knocks you off of where you are. Does that make sense? Okay, yeah, because no you remember it at pinpoint so. when something's changed at that pinpoint, you know, yeah, because that was your memory. I know, I, I, I know we're heading in the right direction because the stuff's still here that's, that's meant to be. Well, here, that's good. Stuff's just changed. What do you think, Dad? I don't know, bro. <laughs> me, like, I've been lost down here once before, it's not fun. I know you're going to lose today, boys. Whoa. All right. Now it's time to get a bit dodgy. I took my waterproofs off, I'm just too, too hot. These are jeans, by the way, that I bought at Sainsbury's because, uh, yeah, I ripped the crotch in both my pairs of jeans on this trip so far. That increases the value, doesn't it? Well, let's put them on the website and find out. Yeah. You could sell a pair of ripped crotch uh, Josh jeans. You could sell them after you finish using them. You can make some money. Hey, John Law. Actually, Matt, I'll tell you a funny story. So one of the weirdest requests I've ever had is someone inboxed me on Instagram asking if they could buy a pair of my socks after I've been on an explore. Really? Yeah. Well, it's like Prince Charles. Apparently, he only wears a pair of socks once. So he's always wearing his fresh socks every single time. So where do they all go? I don't know. He gives them away to people in charities. And he's actually wears his socks once, washes them, gives them to charity. What's the point now? I don't know. Yeah, I reckon you should do what you do, you know. So if you hold on to them in a drawer full of Dan's explore socks, <laughs> Dan's weirdos, I mean, nice, nice subscribers, uh, to uh, what would happen. Oh, no. Yeah, they are Probably got a, Dan, being Dan, you probably got a filing cabinet, so he can just flick through it and go like, did you do the ABCD, FG, Japan, and things like sub-categories sub of socks. Funny enough, yeah. You can have like, uh, yeah, no. this was uh, the Fox, the Fox place, this was uh, Hachima Island, was it? Yeah, Hachima Island. Yeah. So he's got them all filed away. Right, that looks a bit crazy too. Funny, I've, I've heard lots of people getting lost down here. There's plenty of stories. I've never heard the story of anyone being hit by a rock. Oh, that's good. Come on, we're going back. So, you know, look behind. 
But you hear plenty of people getting lost. <laughs> you can't forget that spot. So far, that's the most scary one. Prepare yourself, kids. We're going in. Yo, Dan, this is the Tunnel of Doom. Oh, man. Everything's just doom here. Doom! fall over please. We don't want not to fall. Sacrifices. Do the sacrifices. Seems a bit cool just come out or something. That's quite funny because they call it the shard. <laughs> <laughs> it's the shard. We've just been to the shard, Josh. It's called the shard. It's a monument though to remember where we're going, like a yeah. landmark. One of them. Right. We are not oh, far no. from the cathedral. Let's go. I'm not going to already. What, Luke? Yeah. What do you say? This is it. Yeah. Well, it looks like it makes sense, but it's not the other one. Gone the wrong way? No. I've turned around. Yeah. I'm yeah, slipping everywhere. Yeah. It's a straight line, but we're going to go slightly left at the time. It's really bad in a second. So, guys, the deeper we get, it seems to be the more moist it's actually getting in here. We've actually noticed it's more dry clay, but when we get deeper and deeper in here, this just turns into like proper glue, doesn't it? Just sticks to your feet, Sorry. slows you down. Yeah, it's bad. Right, so, we've probably been traveling 10 minutes. How far away now? Two minutes. Oh. Literally, got with us. So, from the original 10, it's 20 to 22 minutes. I'm just trying to gauge uh, Luke's time scales. Oh, it looks great. It's like Matt's back, mate. Yeah, follow me in the middle. Yeah, I'm going to go a bit. Yeah, I'm going to go a bit. 
Got a bit of a hole in it going on. Let us slot the air, boys. Yeah, it's going to get bad now. Light. It won't be in it. Light. It won't be in it. Oh, there. Whoa. What's the hole, bro? Like, oh, oh. oh, holy crap, dude. This is it. This is it. Oh. This is insane. I don't think I've ever come in from this side. I don't think I've ever come in from down there. We'd have come in through back door, hopefully. No, That's awesome. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. This is amazing, dude. Definitely something I don't witness every day. This is a rare uh, area. They call this a cathedral. Uh, really cool, and it's on the lake with that door. Alright, oh, get it ready, boys. Matthew Williams on the mic. Right. So, in the past, there used to be lots of ways to get in here, and various tunnels were being sealed up by the MOD in Hanson along the mine now. Uh, they basically have sealed every way up, and the way we came in today is something that Hansen doesn't know about, otherwise they'd seal it up. So every sign you see in here saying exit this way, exit that way, exit that way, they're all roads to nowhere. You go nowhere, you will never get out. Yeah, oh so that unless you know your way in, you're not getting out. Wow. That's actually really good. No, it's actually really good that, because I get a lot of comments, and I've had a lot of comments on previous videos. A lot of people, um, you know, say, why don't you just follow the arrows, follow the arrows, they'll be the way out. No, they're not. <laughs> These arrows could be 10 years old, and like Matthew said, there's constant sealing up entrances. I would never, ever follow up one of the arrows. You'd have to leave your own arrows, that's, that's the thing. And we didn't do that again. Don't know how comfortable I feel with Luke keeps saying he doesn't think this is the right way. Yeah, I don't know either, but without him, there's no way we're getting there anyways. Hello? No. Yeah? No. no. Wrong okay. way. Okay. So Luke just said no, this is not the right way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Huh? Oh, it is the right way. Yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, he's he's dog. Yep. It's not that I don't recognize because I can go a different way out of Yeah, be careful on the roof, boys. Honestly, I don't know how the heck this guy remembers any of this. Okay, yeah. the tank. And I said the red door on the side of it, remember? Yeah. This is it. No way, we were so, so close the first attempt. Dude, I'm here. Wow, this wasn't here last time. What is this? It's like oh, it's water. Water. Yo, it is so clear. Whoa. Wanna drink it? Oh, I wouldn't. <laughs> I haven't. Wanna try it? No. Why is there a water tank down there? No. I don't know. Well, they used to have horses pulling the carts down here, so they mm -hmm. needed water and probably for drilling. And, but yeah. Oh, when you go down to watch out for the aliens and all that. Yeah, watch out for the aliens. Yeah, watch out for the aliens. Yeah, be careful with this one. I almost fell down the big hole. Well, I did. I haven't seen it. Well, yeah, so uh, now Matthew Williams said this was like tunnels and they would pull horses. Horses would pull, uh, what were they pulling? Stuff. Well, along here you've had um, rail tracks, so you can see where the sleepers would have gone in. And then we've rail tracks. Hi! Hi! Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> so we've had sleepers uh, and rail tracks on here, and they've been pulling in and out of Bathstone on those uh, railway carriages, you know. So the horses would probably just been pulling them. They didn't have anything like uh, steam engines and fires and things because it would just smoke up the, uh, the people who would be able to breathe down here, so horses would have been. Well, they did. Look. 
they, they did used to have some uh, smoke down here because they had uh, their candles and things like that, but they wouldn't want to. Yeah, but that's a distinctive trail. Yeah, that, that, that's like steam or something yeah. on an engine or something like that, mate. Maybe somewhere it's, like here they would follow the train tracks. Yeah. yeah, I mean, look at it. It looks like it looks like a, a track. In a main carriageway, perhaps. Yeah. Wow. yeah. And the thing is, you imagine that 200 years of people walking up and down here with candles as well, like that, a lot right, of this thing, right. it's going to produce that. And, yeah, yeah, maybe, but I just don't think so distinctly in, in the middle. In the I middle think that looks like so something that's higher up, just pressuring against it. Right up to this. Yeah, so what's what happened? happened? We actually got to this point, and, we, and there was a sign on it. You could just see it. It's just like red door. It was narrow. And then basically, you know, we've been around in circles for ages. We got lost. I mean, this place is like an active maze. You know, that's the where you're going, but... How's that left up here? It's that doorway you've got to. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Open bit. Um, that was not there before. That's oh, what's that's here. No, but look at that. Yeah, what is it? It's new. Um, could be a vibration detector, that. Oh, no, but then again, there's no electrics to it. Potentially pulled in this whole trunk in here, that. And just oh, from the wire trunk in here. Yeah, yeah, from falling. Could be what yeah, it is. Open, we've got cracks in that. Looks fairly new. Yeah, yeah, it look right does look new. Yeah, we've got some right. 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 yeah, right. See, this is where we've got stuck at on this corner. Well, you guys got close before in the first attempt. Yeah, they got real close. Right, so we're not far from the red door now. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Famous last words. Now this is a good event video. Wow. That was a good snapping moment. I don't think one's enough to do much. To be honest, I just took it so I could get out of my pocket. Get the rubbish out of my pocket. Wow. Seems to be great. Just to think about. No, so close to the red door now, I'm beyond the red door. Diggers. Yeah, oh, so the second time you came down, did it? Yeah, it. yeah. How long were you with? Um, as, a, as a demon. So is that what it was? Yeah, it's like he's got horns, he's got demon ears, the rat, lippy. So this would have been done in the war, obviously. Yeah. So they would have referred to him as the rat. They didn't refer to him as Hitler, they just probably called him the rat. Do you think this is that old? Oh yeah. Do because that? because look, they were actually drawing back then with um, charcoal. charcoal. What charcoal was it? And, uh, I thought they used to take the candle and burn it on. Burn as well. Burn, yeah. burn, burn the actual design on with a candle. Mm. So we're going to take some time to create, shall we? That's actually yeah, crazy. Box, box, box. Oh, oh, damn. Set up. What the hell? How random is that? Mm. People come down here and have parties. Do you know what it kind of yeah. reminds? It's, it's kind of like a... Uh, it kind of looks like you know, some, sh some stuff on the uh, Paris cat corner. Yeah. Like, like, cat fans. It's like you get cat fans kind of stuff going on. That is weird, isn't it? Dude, what the heck's going on? <laughs> well, I don't see them anywhere and I don't see the bodies, so... They must have got dragged off into the base. Yeah, I don't know. It's really cool to see a whole Christmas tree. Just think about the people lunging a Christmas tree down here, all the way down here, just to set up a little camp. <laughs> Never know, man. It could have been uh, CCC, didn't it? Um, maybe. It could have been the hybrid aliens just hanging yeah, out, waiting for yeah. would-be trespassers. I don't know. I don't trust anyone anymore. Roblox. Minecraft. What the heck? Dude, they even made a chair. It's a brick throw. They made a chair in the back, like the like the uh, catacombs chair. Yeah. So you got the throne of bones, and now you got the throne of bricks. Well done. Hey, get, shh, in shh. Oh. get in there. Get in. What the hell? Rumbling, man. Massive rumbling. Oh, is that the railway? Maybe. The rail. That... There's a rail that goes through the through oh, okay. here, and you get the train going through it. Really? In fact, and when you get down by the red door, that's when you hear it the most, isn't it? Really. Yeah. Yo, did someone drop a bag? No, it's Luke. Luke. Luke's left his bag, but where is Luke? Where? Luke! 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 He said he was going to go ahead and check something. Where the hell's he gone? Huh? Rip. Yeah. 
about it, but he couldn't hear us shouting. That's it. Can't hear anyone. Well, you know this, because that little girl. Mm. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. An original sort. What, that, was that for the yeah. bath storm? That's oh, it. It, it. It's had uh, the teeth, and you can see some of the teeth still there, and the handle there, and the handle would have been big enough so two people could have kind of had a, had a go on it, you know? Oh, we just had a 25 minute break talking about everything down here. A lot of conspiracies down here. Um, Matthew was saying that um, obviously the, the, the base itself to run it would take millions of litres of, of fuel every month or year to run it. So there's a nuclear submarine engine down here that powers the whole base. I never knew that. Wait, wait. Can I hear that humming noise then? We are literally within feet. I hear the humming yeah. noise. How do you know what you're doing? 28 days. Okay, I'll put it here with you. 28 days. Okay. Yeah. Alright, guys. Over here. Oh, yeah. Look at this ring. Look at this. A wall of ring. You don't get much more true than that. That's very true information. Dude, a wall of razor wire. The hell is that supposed to be there? I'm wearing you. I thought there was a light behind there, then it's not. Oh, There's not. something behind there that's reflective. Look. Yeah. They put um, they put metal work up now so you can't see through it because you sort of see through it before. Now there's oh. metal on it. Yeah, I've got like eight mil metal all over it. Alright, let's go and have a look, see if we can. So right over here, you must be behind here, is Agent A's territory. Now, the only thing that sucks is we can't see the red door anymore. But, uh, I'm going to show you a video where I'm going to put it here. You can still see the red door and how it was. This is all for you guys this time to see it because you were there. This is danger, do not pass on safe roof. Do you know what? That's the safest part of the tunnels because that is the bit that has secured the roof. And then beyond it, you've got the city. So, therefore, extremely safe. So, but do not pass. And you've also, you've also a sign down, down there, which is clearly complete lies. But when you get about halfway down, it says raid on gas. Raid on gas, danger. No. Yeah, no, raid Dan. on gas. Yeah. Even the graffiti. I know, I know. This is how obsessed they are with me. This uh, is a, this is a, a weird, a weird kid called Curbs. He kind of just graffitis all the time. Yeah. Uh, you, you guys remember Curbs? Here's a clip of him. Yo, Dan from EWF. Yo, I've sent these fucking videos down right, mate. I'm coming all the way to Lancashire. I'm gonna find your fucking skyline. Then doll, hurt. You're gonna have the fucking UK's most burnt out skyline. You fucking little cunt. Hurt, 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 hurt. Yeah, that was him saying he was gonna burn out my GTR. What a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the guy's a creep. Oh. Honestly, the guy's a weirdo. He's obsessed. I mentioned him one time in a video because he was burning out buildings. Yeah. The guy's obsessed. He was messaging me off a fake account called called my, my name. Yeah, that was it, bro. He messaged me. I was like, "Why is Dan Dixon messaging me off a fake profile?" Oh wait, because it's not Danny. It says like, "Oh yeah, you're gonna smash your car up." Oh, it was. I'm, I mean, exactly I mean, I'm, Dan Dixon, no picture, nothing. You know, I'm I'm, I'm, dyslexic, I'm dyslexic. Okay, right. I'll put it out there. I'm not good at spelling, but you can clearly tell it's curves because everything is shortened down to practically one letter. Yeah. <laughs> one you know, letter. It's, it's too much of that and like too much. The guy, the guy has some serious problems. They need to go and get help. Oh. Uh, do not forget, this person who shall not be named from my lips, yeah, uh, is not an arsonist, but he's going to burn your car out. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a creep. All of so how does it... Whoa. No. Yeah. What? Whoa. Bro, what the hell was that? Yeah, one. Oh, you just, just touch this. You're gonna do it, huh? Is it pressure plate? Can we see through it here? Can we see through it? So literally down, down that um, bit there, you go around to the right. And then it goes um, to the red door. What was that noise? Where did that come from? Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. What the hell was that? Oh my god. Bro, should we be... Wait. Can you see down at the bottom there? Yeah, that's 
I can actually see all the way down here. Huh? I don't know what that is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. Yo. Yo. All right, let's try to get out of here. Yeah, bro. Oh. No. Why do they have an alarm down here like this? Where's it coming from? I don't know, it must be down here somewhere. Would they really want electric out here this far? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it again. Okay, I just broke my foot. <laughs> that sounds different. Yeah. Hey, that's a different sound. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. oh, that's the one to write them off, boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird, isn't it? No F's given. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's, a little, there's a little star up here. Wow. What do you do if someone came running out now? <laughs> You'd say hi. Hey, this is where I would say you want to set your rocket off, is down there. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else opened the door. If they were there, but I don't think they'd be there. You can accidentally see my name in red spray paint. <laughs> Yo, whatever you do, dog on that gate again. I think it's just maybe like a smoke to scare us, but I don't know. It is freaking crazy. It's coming closer. It's seeping up. Yeah, it's yeah. up. Whoa, oh, very far. Oh, I see a really lucky head in there. Here, like, I need to eat, eat the pizza. Yeah, I'm feeling that too. Domino's, anyone? Domino's.
Oh, what's that? Some of dogs. Guys, we, we got to almost a red door again. Um, it is sealed up. <sighs> the Burlington Bunker series continues. <laughs> Three years on, it continues. That goes all the way up. It's dark now. It goes all the way up. Can we get the fuck out? Wow. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. Help me! Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Fucking stuck down a well. Help! Wind, that wind, I don't know. Do some things. Oh. If we can climb out of here, we're going to save us our time. You've got to crack me up because this one's clearly obviously a bit more modern than the rest of it. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> massive, massive ladder of trouble. Going in a two different climb. Can we not go up that? What the fuck is it? It literally goes up to a ladder that goes out to outside, but it's sheeted off at the top with a ladder. Oh. Okay, I'm going to put my camera away because climbing out of here is difficult. My shoes are slippy, I need two hands, so yeah, we'll catch you back outside. Dark art, its foot's not so dark, it's pale, it's like a milk bottle. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a ghost foot. Yeah, maybe we should call it Paylogs. Paylogs. <laughs> Oh man, oh man, we are back at the car, um, about two hours to get back um, to the original entrance, what a mad one, I'm, I'm knackered, and I, we've got a three hour drive, so we've got a three hour drive up north, we've got to get to north, we'll probably get there about 11pm, we're going to crash for a few hours, then I've got to drop Josh off at the airport at 4am, so, but you already know, we're going to take the GTR, so I'll see you in the GTR. Josh, Yo. we're going out, we're heading, we're bugging out in the GTR. We're going out with the bang. Oh, oh. on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's that brown stain on it? Oh. I know, it still smells. It still oh. smells from when you grabbed my crotch. <laughs> Dan, you're such a pervert, honestly. <laughs> Filming my brown stains. Big shout out to Matthew Williams, secret vault, you already know. <laughs> uh, we got Luke living at Urban, exploring with Josh, Good first time in Area 51. And Dark Hearts TV. Scariest of 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 scariest